Ladies and gentlemen, get that slow clap going for Weisenheimer. Weisenheimer. Yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yay, we are Weisenheimer and we are from the Quad Cities USA, which is right where, like you said, Iowa and Illinois meet. We've been together nine years and we've traveled all over the world with our long form improvisational show. And in fact, we were in St. Louis last year, but this year we're doing St. Louis Compass Improv Festival cyberly. Mm -hmm. Speaking of cyberly, Leslie, yes, Jeff. <laughs> up with your cyber <laughs> fandom of Weisenheimer, feel free to follow us on social media. We've got an Instagram page, Facebook, we are Weisenheimer. We don't do Twitter because we can't handle that negativity in our lives. Uh, you can also check out our website at weareweisenheimer.com. Uh, yeah, I'm Jeff. Jen is somewhere on the screen, as is Leslie. Um, we're real excited. Uh, if you're watching an improv slash comedy festival, odds are pretty high. You already know what improv is. Uh, if you're not, quick reminder, there's short form improv, long form. Short form is games. Long form is kind of like watching an improvised play. Uh, that is what we're going to do. Uh, we are also uncensored. So if you are 18 or younger, Pause this, go watch Paw Patrol, come back in like 20 minutes, it'll be fine. Uh, but what's going to happen is each one of us are going to ask our chat room for a suggestion. Uh, we'll each kind of reflect on that suggestion for a second, and then we will start our improv. Uh, so Jen, I'll throw it over to you. Thank you, Jeff. All right, for our first suggestion, it has just started in the Iowa World School has just started. So can someone give me their favorite school lunch? Lunchables. What was that? Lunchables. Lunchables. Ugh. Lunchables. So the grown-up version is a charcuterie, right? <laughs> nice meat and cheese platter, but then you throw on some chocolate to make ah. it feel like kid-friendly. I have a charcuterie party planned for tomorrow, actually. Um, I'm hoping for a brie cheese, and let's get real. I'm kind of trash, so I'll take American if brie's not there. <laughs> all right leslie you want to jump on secondly i think that's a hint for jen because my house is where the charcuterie party will be happening and uh, are you saying that you would like brie cheese at this i mean party? i'm not yeah i'm saying that 100 note yeah. note on the aldi list jen thank you that's for you okay so um my husband is uh, in the united states army and so he lives far away from our home base right now so we do a lot of cute little phone calls to stay connected which means we use a lot of pet names for each other let's face it this might be the only time we do that because his pet name when he is home is take out the garbage uh however right now we have sweet ones cute ones so out there in the cyber world that I'm asking for a suggestion, what is a cute, uh, significant other pet name, nickname that you might have? Sugar butt. Sugar butt, <laughs> what, what? I love that. I hope that someday that I become an aunt. The aunts that sit at that table at, your, at the wedding of their nieces, and then they finally get enough booze in them to go out and dance on the dance floor. And that someday my, my nickname ends up being Sugar Butt. Aunt Sugar Butt. She can boogie. <laughs> you just want to be a drunk aunt. Like we can help. Is it, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah. And maybe get a little junk in the trunk. <laughs> okay, Not I got it. You, buddy. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, we've all hopefully been in a relationship at one point. What is something you received on like a Valentine's Day or your birthday from a significant other that without them knowing you silently returned because you were like, this is so not my thing. This is not my vibe at all. Uh, what is uh, a gift that you received that you returned? A DVD of Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. <laughs> DVD of Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Under, <laughs> the first that, that, one, I would have kept that the second one I didn't need. Can I be honest? That was on my 16th birthday wish list. Um, <laughs> so if you can connect me with that dude, that would be great. Uh, I can honestly <laughs> say I purchased that used at a used DVD store because I'd never seen it. I watched it 
and then returned it two days later because I was like, well, that happened. And so odds are I might have purchased the DVD that you actually returned. I um, know I saw an ad for Kumar and he's in a new show. And I'm like, obviously he ate plenty of White Castle between the making of that movie and now. Very true, very <laughs> true. Um, awesome, so uh, we'll recap our suggestions real quick and then we will start. Yes, I had Lunchables. I had Sugar Butt. And I had a DVD of Harold and Kumar go to Washington. We are Weisenheimer, and here we go. So you want to return this? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It looks like you ate half of it. Well, look, I mean, sugar butts are delicious. And it Please. says it right on the pack. You can't eat just one. And I True. ate one and a half. And I'm trying to watch my figure. And so I'd like to return just this half of a sugar butt and you know get something back for it. You would like to return one cheek of a sugar butt? Well, technically half of a cheek of one sugar butt, but yes, half yes. Half a I cheek would. of one sugar <laughs> butt. Well, it's a good thing that you have come to sugar butt headquarters. I noticed that your <laughs> license plate actually says Indiana. And yes. we are here in North Carolina. You traveled all the way from Indiana to North Carolina to return half a cheek of a sugar butt candy cake. That I did. I mean, I was I was a honey bun guy for a very long time. And Understandable. I, I was at a quick stop in Decorah, Iowa, and I they didn't have honey buns. They only had um, sweet buds. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to try this. And time out, my, time out, time out, my good, handsome young man. Yes. You're from Indiana, but you were mm -hmm. in Decorah, Iowa, which is the very tippy tippy top of right. Iowa, almost right. darn near in Minnesota. You could spit and you would end up in Minnesota. <laughs> yes, yes. And you were into Decorah, Iowa, so you had to drive down through Iowa, through Indiana, all the way to North Carolina. Yeah, I'm... One half of a cheek. Yeah, I'm legally not allowed to spend more than four hours in one state. Uh, so I'm kind of <laughs> have to kind of be on the move right now. Um, uh -oh. And... I, I tried your, you know, the, the, the sweet butt. I'm like, wow, this is really good. But I couldn't finish it. And it said you can't eat just one, but I technically didn't. And so I figured, you know what? I got to get out of this state anyway. And, you know, I clocked a couple hours in Illinois, needed to go. Clocked a couple hours in Indiana, needed to go. <laughs> Kentucky was kind of a haul. But yeah, I'm here now. And I just, yeah, I just like something back if that's that's all right. Well, I can, that is completely understandable. And we have a, a, a policy Mm -hmm. I just need you to fill out this questionnaire as to, I am so curious because if you were in Decorah, Iowa, like I said, you spit and you're in Minnesota, right? right. And you, and you drove all the way through mm -hmm. eating sugar butt candy cake, which is mm -hmm. the number one cake of candy cakes in the country. Agreed. Yes. The billboard <laughs> top 100 charts of candy cakes. We're number one. We've been number one longer than any Whitney Houston songs been number True. one of candy cakes. And that's a very specific top 10 list to find, but I mean, that makes the bodyguard <laughs> soundtrack. Mm -hmm. It does. So you <laughs> ate the cake all the way through those states, but for some reason, you stopped at half of a cheek of a sugar butt candy cake. Yeah. I am, I'm fascinated. You fill out this form for me, and I will take it all the way to the tippy top of the president of this building, the tippy top. The president is in the tippy top. You spit. <laughs> out of the president's window and you'll hit Minnesota. Wow, that is that is impressive. Um, how much on this questionnaire has to be truthful? I'm, I mean, I'm pretty even. Oh, good, good, because there's pretty, some information I, I don't want shared. I'm, so. I'm loosey goosey. Okay. I mean, half of Whitney Houston songs were written by Dolly Parton, so whatever you want to say. Good, yeah, that's a good half point, that's a good point. Uh, all right. I, I have some sad news in the sugar bum world. Sugar butts has beat us. They're now number one. We Son are of a number two. bitch! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I told I'm you not... fucking sugar butts were going to be a problem. We needed to nip it in the butt, literally. I thought sugar bum would have been a more family friendly, approachable, sweet treat name. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this coming. Jeff, I'm. I'm here to officially apologize and 
to propose a solution. I'm all about solution focus. Well, it's time to move Hostess to DEF CON 2 because this is, this is fucked up, okay? We did not go out of business and then come back into business to be showed up by Sweet Butt, all right? I know. Here's what we're going to do. Call the assholes in marketing, round them up, and we're going to change honey buns to honey ass right now. <laughs> honey okay? buns to honey ass, okay? I got uh, it. We are going to go after an adult market, okay? <gasps> oh, Give an untapped market. Yes, two to 12, we've got them with the honey buns. But those horny teenagers and adults want that honey <laughs> ass. Honey ass. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's what we're going to do. Let's see if we can get Lizzo to be the girl on the marketing, you know, look over her shoulder, you know, something like that. Let, let, let's see if that can, that, can, we, can we make that happen? I, I, I see no reason why we couldn't. And we pair it with juice. Juice oh. of their choice. So oh my there's the God. Lizzo tie-in. It all kind of flows. It all kind of works together. And honestly, let's tie in Big Pharma. We're about to give everybody diabetes. We can throw an insulin shot in. We're good. <laughs> Complimentary in insulin shot in the back of each pack. Yeah, you get it. Um, mom? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> Sweetie, that lunch you made me today. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'd like, you know, ever since you and dad got divorced and I've been splitting my time between your um, uh, luxurious apartment and dad's <laughs> house in a nice tree-lined street and your apartment in... Um, I don't know what this neighborhood's called, but you said don't <laughs> on the dirty car <laughs> on my way to school. The lunches aren't quite what you used to do, Mom. I'm, uh, I kind of miss the little, you know, sandwiches cut into animal shapes and um, little notes that told me how much you love me. And now I get this. The love is still there. The time yeah. dedication to your lunch is gone. <laughs> i just want to be yeah. no sweetie transparency yeah. is important in this family and my love is huge but like i said i there's other things i'd rather be doing yeah. um, i have a bumble account now i am <laughs> a new partner yeah i'm trying to get you a stepdad yeah so if you could just take one for the team for the next <laughs> four to six months, sweetie. Um, so I'm going to be eating lunches like this for four to six months. It, less time if you make your own. Uh. Oh. Um. Here, could I, what if I just, I could sweeten the pot a little bit for you. Okay. Okay. I can get you yeah. a pizza Lunchable. Oh, Okay. Pizza mm -hmm. Lunchable, and um, uh, and maybe a little note that says that, like you used to, that said how much you love me and and have a okay. good day and your thing, yeah. I just no, I just feel like you're pushing a lot right now. Um, <laughs> I I love you. I do. I love so many things about you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. It'd be great, mom, too. If like you woke up when before I woke up in the mornings instead of um, uh, me uh, waking you up. And I, I hear you, thank you for like, You're supposed to dress me or, and or show me my clothes and, and, and help me get, and I have to kind of like the whole ritual of slap water, slap your face and throw water in your oh, face sweet. and um, like make sure you're awake, make sure you're breathing before I go to school in the morning kind of weird no 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 let's reframe this positively you are okay. just gaining independence <laughs> <laughs> okay. so hello and welcome to criterion on film the world's premier review site today we're going to be reviewing 2004's epic masterpieces eternal sunshine and spotless mind aviator and Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Ooh. Joined by my two panelists, I'll allow them to introduce themselves. My name is Sylvia Plathwright. <laughs> Welcome, Sylvia. 
Thank you. Doctor, Dr. Fisher. And welcome, Dr. Fisher. First off, aviator, Leonardo DiCaprio. Good, bad thoughts. He peaked in Titanic. Did he ever recover? <laughs> Didn't believe a word. Didn't believe that he's really the Howard Hughes of the day. I just thought all I'm seeing is a man making lots of money. I Doctor. love a plane, but I love a boat more. The plane was wonderful. The plane did a great job. Well said. Moving on, Eternal Sunshine, The Spotless Mind, starring Jim Carrey. Not funny. No! Worst funniest movie I've ever seen. Panelists, your thoughts. <laughs> Keep that man farting out of his ass, and he will be loved by America. <laughs> I also yep. have a feeling that in 20 years, he's going to go batshit crazy. <laughs> Very possible, only time will tell. Uh, Mr. Jim Carrey, I say to you, keep your emotional breakups out of film and keep climbing out of rhinoceri buttocks. That is what the people want to see. Want. Finally, moving on to Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Um, many thoughts across the spectrum on this, some positive, some negative. Personally, my dog Huntley uh, accidentally ate the DVD of Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, and when he shit it out four hours later, that was more enjoyable to watch than this movie. Panelists, <laughs> your thought. No, 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 this was, no, no, this was robbed of an Oscar. This was a phenomenal film about two friends coming together on a joint mission moving forward, really, ugh. Sylvia Plath-tastic, she agrees. Dr. Fisher, you've nailed it so much. I was so hoping uh, when he talked about the DVD being eaten by his dog and when it shit out, it became a diamond, a diamond. <laughs> the, the, the film itself, who would have thought two good friends with just they are good friends they have a lot in common but little things that they don't what a beautiful idea to put them in a vehicle put them in a car and make them go out of town go on an errand and an adventure if you will and Frankly, may i say new patrick harris your comeback is phenomenal to see. Frankly, I, the, the best part of that movie, uh, when they weren't high engaging in <laughs> cannabis, was the presence of Neil Patrick Hammers. He almost saved that movie, but he failed to do it. <laughs> Did you call him I, Neil Patrick Hammers? Hammers? What? No, I said Harris. Perhaps I feel a, like you're I, just I, jumping on our train now. <laughs> we, the train well, is like art. Do you not agree, Dr. Fisher? I, I just, not the proper respect. It's not receiving the proper respect. Well, I'm much more excited to see Neil Patrick Harris launching next year in his brand new series, How I Met Your Mother, which sounds amazing. And I'm sure the season finale will not leave anyone disappointed and will actually answer all the questions asked over nine fucking seasons that they just kind of <laughs> left hanging out there. And then they just kind of pull the rug out from under you. I mean, I I'm don't sure understand that what's happening now, but steam <clears throat> seems to be coming out of your ears. I'm a little agitated that you both find Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, quote, enjoyable. I May give I it, no, I, I give it a poop emoji. That is my rating. <laughs> you know what? I, I can't do this. You either appreciate film or you do not. I suppose you don't like to see uh, Jeff Bridges as a big drunken fool going bowling. How dare you, sir? Oh. How dare you? I am ending this show right now. Next week, we'll return <laughs> with the masterpiece that is Con Air. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I see here your uh, your filled out form about uh, sugar butts and uh, the answers that you gave were phenomenal. And that's why I am using you in the litigation against sugar bum candy cakes because we okay. have a cease and desist order. Uh, I would say we have every legal right 
to assume that butts and bums are the same word in American language. And the argument is that butts honey ass honey ass is too close to sugar butt. That's what that's what the, the description honey is. Honey ass is too close to sugar butt. It's more organic. Mm. I will give you that. <laughs> Mm. But it is not, it is very similar in tone. Okay. In North I, America, a honey ass is the same as a sugar butt. No. I, need, <laughs> I, need, no, I, no. I, I have a honey ass. I don't have a sugar bun. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please explain to me what is the difference between honey ass and a sugar butt. I would love to. <laughs> I would absolutely love to. One. Honey ass, rounder, higher, tighter. <laughs> Sugar bun is delightful. It looks cute. Right? Nobody really wants one. <laughs> All right. Leaving it to you, good sir. You have tried the honey ass. You've eaten the honey ass. He and sure you has. A sugar butt. <laughs> you did well, leave be- half a cheek of the sugar butt. Did you ate the full honey ass? (laughs) I would like to hear from the man, please. The the gentleman that filled out the form. Ma'am, I apologize. They're just, it excites me. That's all it is. This is excitement coming out of my mouth. I'm sorry. Understood. Understood. The words honey ass does bring a lot of excitement to people. But sir, you are, you are the end voter. A man from Indiana who bought cakes in Decorah, Iowa, just to spit away from Minnesota. Drove all the way to North Carolina. Please, sir, tell us all. Did well, you eat much, all the honey uh, ass? As much as I love the fact that a, a man's voice can finally be heard in the justice system. <laughs> so, oh, that never oh. happened. <laughs> never happened. Um, gosh, I will say I did eat the whole honey ass. I spread it and I got right in the middle and just kind of ate my way out from the inside. Um, oh. was delicious. Um, I did get a lot of residue on my face, um, but it wasn't bad. Um, and then uh, in terms of the sugar butt, um, yeah, I mean, I just started from the left side and I just, you know, the middle wasn't the middle had a weird smell to it. And so I kind of moved on and went to the right side. And honestly, the the stench was so nauseating. That's why I only was able to finish like the other part of it. Um, mm. Plus, I mean, I had a I had to return this DVD of Harold and Kumar go to White Castle because the uh, North Park Mall was closing and I had to get there. Um, also, I have to leave the state in like seven minutes. So, um, <laughs> and that's time. Woo! Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you Please for having us here, Weisenheimer. Check out our webpage at weareweisenheimer.com and you can find our, our podcast on SoundCloud. And what else am I missing, JD? That's it, weareweisenheimer.com. Thank you, Compass. Thank you, Compass. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.